Ruben, thanks for having us out to Ripley's, believe it or not. Yes, sir, thank you for coming. This is so cool. You know what I can't get over is we are, the Alamo is right there. Like you are in the, really in the heat of the action. We are, we've been on Alamo Plaza for uh, 30 years now. Wow. We just celebrated our 30th anniversary on the plaza. Cool. And as a company, we've just celebrated our 100th year anniversary. Oh, wow. Since the first uh, Ripley um, cartoon went out. That is very cool, been doing this a long time and it shows because you've got so much great stuff. And just here alone on Alamo Plaza, you have a few options for families to have fun. We do, we actually offer three great attractions. We have a uh, Ripley's Auditorium, we have a Wax Museum, we also have a moving theater, all fun and family friendly. Yeah, right here on Alamo Plaza, I think that is so cool. I will have to say though, I think the thing that you are known best for is the auditorium full are. of cool stuff. We're at the entrance. You say we go in and take a look at some Absolutely. of your weird and unusual? Yes, sir. Be our guest. Very cool. Let's do it. Let's go. Well, Ruben, here we are. I'm directly underneath a, a gator or a crocodile. <laughs> I'm not sure which one, but yeah. this is what it's all about in the auditorium. This is so cool. And this is just one of many areas. Yes, um, we have multiple galleries with hundreds of artifacts in each room. We have things from all over the world. There's a lot of pieces of history. We even have a huge portion of the Berlin Wall that you can walk up to and see. Uh, we have the car that uh, Lee Harvey Oswald rode in the day that he did assassinate JFK. Wow. Uh, so lots of fascinating stuff in here. Really yeah. interesting mm -hmm. stuff. And what's neat is it's all been curated from really around the world throughout mm -hmm. time. Yeah. That's what Mr. Ripley himself was really passionate about. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I would say personally, I think Robert Ripley is probably the most fascinating asset of the entire thing. Yeah. He is the most the fascinating thing to me, based purely on all of the adventures that he went on to find these items over the years and throughout his lifetime. And speaking of unique, what's cool about Ripley's, believe it or not, is even if you maybe have been to an auditorium in another town, mm -hmm. we can pretty much guarantee that you haven't seen what's here. Yeah, actually, uh, every oddity that you see is an authentic piece. It's one of a kind. Um, you're going to see shrunken heads. Yeah. You got to think about it. A shrunken head is somebody just like you and me yeah. walking around one day and then they came across the wrong <laughs> jungle. Yeah, that's right. Um, and, and so you see a lot of really unique, interesting, fascinating stuff in here. And it's in the name. It's Ripley's Believe It or Not. That's which right. kind of means... Well, basically it means whether you believe it or not, it's real. Oh, so wow. you'll see a lot of strange stuff that is in fact real. And we already have today and I know there's lots more strange stuff to see. So Ruben, yeah. I say you and I take off and explore more of Ripley's Believe It or Not. And you can explore Ripley's Believe It or Not online to plan your trip here in San Antonio. And if you tell them you saw it on We Are Austin, you'll get $3 off a combo ticket.